Well, Happy New Year, Church. Happy New Year. You have made it. 2024 is here. Can you believe it? The years seem to be flying by, don't they? And yet we're here. We're alive. God's got a plan and a purpose for us. Yesterday, we started a new devotion that I've called Here Comes the Dreamer. And we're looking at the life of Joseph. Joseph, who had a dream. And there's a lot of things that we can learn in this. And I'm just every day just picking out one or two things. And today I want to talk to you about the importance of faithfulness, faithfulness in the midst of a dream. And there's a few things embedded within this. So I'm also going to spend a little bit of time tomorrow looking at faithfulness in our dreaming. But the first thing I want to say is this, is I want to talk to you about being faithful in the little things. That's one of the things we learn from the life of Joseph. In Genesis chapter 37, verse 2, it says, Joseph, a young man of 17, was tending the flocks with his brothers. Now, it is significant that we first read about Joseph where he's taking responsibility for something that was not his. It's significant because it reveals other honors intended for him later in life. So in chapter 37, he's looking after his dad's flock. And in chapter 39, the Bible says, Joseph found favor in his eyes and became attendant. Potiphar put him in charge of his household and entrusted him his care to everything he owned. In chapter 39, verse 22, it says, The warden put Joseph in charge of all those held in the prison, and he was made responsible for all that was done there. And then in chapter 41, verses 39 to 41, it says, Pharaoh said to Joseph, since God has made all this known to you, there is no one so discerning and wise as you. You shall be in charge of my palace and all my people are su to submit to your orders. Only with respect to the throne will I be greater than you. So Pharaoh said to Joseph, I hereby by put you in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Now that's amazing to me. It was Joseph's faithfulness in the small things that unlocked dreaming for big things and the fulfillment of big things in his life. I actually believe that faithfulness means letting the little things become the big things. The Bible says in Zechariah chapter 4, verse 10, who despises the day of small things? Question mark. Now, to despise means to as to hold as, as insignificant. Faithfulness is actually making a priority out of small things. Have you ever seen someone maybe make a deal out of small things? Even as I'm sharing this devotion with you, I'm reminded of a time just being in primary school in Australia and having a day's outing with my class. We went to a place called the Big Pineapple. Now the Big Pineapple was called the Big Pineapple because it was a big pineapple. It was in, the, in a country town and and they grew all sorts of things around the plantation, including pineapples. And we went to have a day out from school and, and to, to do some field trip learning. And I remember I was given $2 by my mum and dad. Only $2 is what I had with me for, for spending money. And yet, you know, the, the thing that I remember doing as a child with that $2, when we had some time in the gift shop at the end, Children were buying sweets for themselves and all sorts of souvenirs for themselves. But I remember thinking to myself that it would be important to buy a gift for my mum and dad and for my sister because they weren't there to be able to enjoy what I was experiencing, but I could bring some of that experience home with me. Now, honestly, I can't remember right now exactly what I bought for my family. It may have been a fridge magnet or a few pens or a few stickers or something like that. And I spent all the money that I had bringing something home for my family. I had a, a little bit of money and it was a, a little gesture, but it was in the little, being faithful in the little, that actually I believe God enabled me to, to bring love <clears throat> back to my house and also to bring that sense of appreciation to my mum and to my dad and to my sister. And I, and I share that story because I really believe that we must be like that with the small things. Because in the economy of God, small things lead to big things if you honor those small things. For example, forgiveness is a small thing, but it leads 
to big things. In all honesty, tithing is a small thing, but it can lead to big things. Time, going the extra mile, friendship, generosity, uh, honoring small things in all of those areas really leads to big things. I want to say equally that when it comes to sinful behavior in our lives in 2024, little things can lead to big things. So be careful that the thing that we honor, the small things that we honor, are good and godly things, because the reality is this. Though a seed is small, it brings in a large harvest. So I want to encourage you, like Joseph, be faithful in the little things, in the right little things. I think the reality is this, is there can be so many things that we write off as being beneath us or being beyond us. I was recently in another country of the world and and I was using the restroom facilities before speaking. And when I came out, the person who was looking after after me, I said, oh, I said the bathrooms are, are, are a real mess. And, and I'd spent a little bit of time actually tidying up their bathroom. And the individual said to me this, said, oh, I don't do bathrooms. And his phrases are this, I don't do it, it's beneath me. And I thought to myself, therein lies a real problem with you. Because faithful in small things leads to God creating the opportunity for larger things. And here's what I want you to see about Joseph. Joseph tended the flock. He was faithful in small things, but he ended up being given the country. Now, most people want the fulfillment of a big dream, but the way big dreams come to pass is by being faithful in the small things. Now, I don't know in what area of your life you maybe consider is beneath you or too small for you. I just want to encourage you this season, be faithful in small things and watch what God will do in your life through that. Father, I pray on this first day of this new season of this new year. It's one day among 365. It's a small moment in amongst all the time that we have for the remainder of the year. I pray that in this moment, would you help us to learn this lesson, to be faithful in the moments that we have, faithful in the small things, because we know that the small leads to great. Bless everybody in the life of our church, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, Happy New Year one more time, church, and look forward to catching up with you really soon. See you in church. Bye-bye.